All right, <clears throat> another day back in the garage uh, working. Well, technically, we're outside. But uh, anyway, we've got the uh, E30 here in the driveway. We're going to do a little bit of troubleshooting, see if we need to order some parts, figure out what we need to do. Uh, the problem is the old uh, speedometer back there is not working. It didn't work when we bought it. Then it kind of worked a little bit off and on, like literally for five minutes here, 20 minutes there. And then it, uh, we changed the rear diff fluid and magically the thing started working perfectly good. Um, but now after working for about three months, it just said, nope, I'm done working again. So we're gonna see what we need to do. We're gonna crawl down back under here because on this particular car, like a lot of the other ones, back here on the rear diff is where the uh, speed sensor is. So we're gonna crawl under there, pull that thing out, look at it, check the connections, all that kind of stuff, and see if we can figure out how to get this thing running again. Or well, it runs fine. But see if we can figure out how to get the, uh, the speedometer working on it. And that way, uh, we'll know how fast we're going or whether or not we're uh, going to get it taken or not. Anyway, that's what we're going to work on and see what we got to do. Take it. Okay, so now that we're up under here, jacked the back of the car up just so we can get to it easier. You can see right there in the middle of the screen uh, on that diff, there is a white uh, disc kind of thing. And then there's a rubber boot on top of that. That is the speed sensor on this particular model of BMW. So uh, there's two bolts. I think they're 10 millimeters. We're going to, have to pop those things out uh, and disconnect the uh, wire. Now we did some troubleshooting on this before today. The wire has eight volts on it. I think it's supposed to have 12, but for some reason it had eight. Um, the sensor, we pulled it out, looked at it. It looks fine. Nothing seems wrong with that, but we went ahead and ordered a new sensor. So what we're going to do today is go ahead and get that thing out of there. Um, and put a new sensor in and see if that fixes it. So we'll, we'll see, we know we got power going back there. I don't know why the eight instead of the 12 volts, maybe that's what it's supposed to be, but uh, we're, we're gonna swap it out, see if that fixes it. Um, so right now we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll pull it out and then uh, we'll get back with you once we got the thing pulled out. Taking this thing off. To show you how everything goes, you got this plug. Um, see, they're just pointed different ways. Um, uh, this tall one right there goes on the left side. Okay. Other one goes on the right side. That's how ours is. Pretty sure that's the right way. See how this metal piece divot right here. And that's kind of like the only thing on here, but plug goes in there. Got your little bracket. I already got this loose. Take this bolt out. There's only two bolts. This bracket comes out. Then the speed sensor should it just pulls out. And then came out like that, so short side on the left long side on the right pretty sure that's how it should go okay so we pulled this out um there's the old one that's the little o-ring that is on the old one i did not see when i was trying to order where i could get a new o-ring uh, to be honest that one looks fine it wasn't leaking before um so i guess we'll uh we'll go ahead and go with that one now here's the new sensor um it came in this little uh static guard bag thing um we got it from fcp euro ecs ECS. yeah sorry this one's from ecs tuning um so anyway that's that you can see the back end looks the same uh you gotta there's a couple different ones for bmw so you gotta really do your research make sure you're picking out the right one um for this particular early 87 e30 this is it so there's your part number stuff. Um, so what we're gonna do is take that uh, old O-ring right there, stick it on this new one and go plug it in, reconnect all the bolts, and then take her on a test drive and see if that's gonna fix our problem or not. The new one in there, bolted it in, 
I already got the plug plugged in. One thing, kind of the only thing you have to worry about is if you tighten one bolt too much, it will get too lopsided and you won't be able to tighten it. That's about it. It's pretty simple. Just make sure you put it, you put it in the right way. I'll try to show you guys, but um, see so you know, like the where the sensor is itself on that metal bracket, it's flat. So you can only put the metal bracket on the sensor one way. And then the plug only plugs in one way. So everything set up. I just gotta move this boot back over. And then you clip this line into that little metal piece right there. And that's I mean everything for changing it. Pretty simple. Okay guys, so uh, here we go on our test drive and look at that little sucker. I mean we're not going fast, but it's working. So that's all we needed to know. It also makes this little uh fuel economy thing right there work. Um so it should make the computer work right. too. Yeah it should. In this car we got the little computer deal. I think it's a long fuse. Yeah, but it should make that thing work too. Um yeah watch where you're driving, don't play with the computer. Anyway, we had success, so that was the problem. Uh, that eight volt versus 12 volt, I don't, maybe it's only supposed to have eight, not sure, but um, anyway, she's working, so we're gonna say success, and uh, now my son doesn't have an excuse when he gets a speeding ticket. But we'll call that one done. Um, we are gonna work on some other stuff, like that squeaky pedal you hear in the background. Uh, that's probably gonna be next. Uh, we're gonna pull the dash out though, fix the fuel gauge, it's a little wonky and then uh, do some light bulbs and things like that so come back uh, and join us for that hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it when we get the next videos up on this and the portion of the truck